So uh, with the introduction of Android Enterprise, uh, there has been a slight shift on how you basically package it. And Google and Intune has done a good job on streamlining the uh, whole process. So I have already discussed the requirements for it. You basically need to have a Google, a managed Google Play account uh, set up in your Intune environment and a work profile set up. Uh, I'll do a quick demo on how to do that. So again, to do that, go into Intune or Endpoint Manager under Client Apps, Apps. You go under App and select Manage Google Play Account. And once you hit Select, it will ba basically launch the Google Play Store account. Sometimes it takes a couple of minutes and then you can basically search for all the apps that you want it to be approved and then start pushing out to your corporate owned devices. So uh, let's say it's gonna be LinkedIn for your uh, recruitment team. You basically go in there and hit approve. It will come up with the uh, prompt that uh, what app, uh, sorry, what it gonna have access to, the contacts and storage, you can review that and just hit approve. It's gonna come up with another prompt. And just hit done. So it will come up with a green tick that it has been approved and you just hit sync. And then under the client apps, you will see that it says that it's under the sync process. And once you filter it out, it usually takes about uh, five to 10 minutes sometimes, depending on how good the network is sometimes. And I have already packaged a couple of apps as you can see in here. And once you can see the app under your client apps, so let's say it's your Outlook app that you have approved for the users. You go in the properties and basically assign the app to uh, the, uh, the group that you have created in Azure AD. And then it will start pushing it out. You can make it as a required. So that means, uh, uh, let's say if it's under the zero touch enrollment, once they launch their uh, phone, it, it's gonna get automatically installed. But let's say if you want to make it available under the company portal app or the managed Google Play Store account, then you can always add the group under the available for Android devices. And then again, you can force a uninstall for the app itself, depending upon what you are doing in there. That's one. Any, any questions, guys? Oh, looks like there is one. Um, Troy asks, what are the risks or gotchas with unapproved of apps in future, especially if you have a thousand plus devices? Uh, so the first question I would be thinking of are those devices being managed? Because if you're pushing out the apps uh, for the managed Google Play account, then I am assuming that it's gonna be a managed device. So in that scenario, if the uh, app isn't approved, they won't be able to install that app on their uh, corporate owned devices. It will basically come up with the prompt that uh, your uh, uh, device administrator hasn't allowed this app to be installed on your device.